Jennings off the bench for two. Good turnaround here by Jennings. Clark tries out of McCoy. The hoop and the harm. Against Stetson, it wasn't the scoring. He had nine assists. And the win against the Hatters. Again, Benham likes to drive. And Agnosovic likes to drop it in. Isles go back to man to man. Again with Lipscomb. Off the mark with a runner. Pure and the Bisons up the floor. Pruitt launches the three. There's the first for Lipscomb. Agnosovic, excellent pass down low. Clark to Boyd. And by Agnosovic. Stroud beat the shot clock. Doesn't get the swish. Agnosovic in transition. Euros floats it through. Uh, Peterson. Peterson doesn't get the most minutes. Spells Robinson off the bench, but he is respected as an unquestioned leader on this squad as Clark drives against... He comes in, he is a shooter for the Owls. Scouting report for the Bisons. You have to know where shooters are. Clark has the cease part. And then you got J.O. just coming into his game, making his points, and Schnur is just... Hey, he's on fire. Robinson against Schnur. Stolen away! Clark with the interception. Schneer. Still a 6-0 run for Lipscomb. Owls trying to pick up the pace offensively. Yeah, the Owls have come back in with their starting five. Won't happen there. Clark with another steal. Clark to the rim with the foul. Hey, as I said, going into this timeout, Clark is bringing it. Taking the basket, he's got a spark going for this Bison team right now. He gets the steal. He creates the contact right there. That's what he's supposed to do. Terrell won a little foul, but steal. In less than a minute of game clock. And it rolls through. Clark rolls it through. That's their weakness. But here we go right now with the Bisons. They're in their office. They're feeling it. Oh, the cut in the one-handed. Tipped away by Clark. Tonight. It's a big rebound there for Stetson. A lot of hand checking going on. The Black Prince three to is to, blocked. Yeah, the fish is going to have to clean it up just a bit. Quincy Clark, hands for Agnosovic, puts it in. And if you're, you're beating any of those Power 5 teams, you say, hey, it's not my fault you're having a down year. Schnare for three. Big response from teams went to overtime. The road team won both. Pruitt for three for Lipscomb. He was red hot. They can't buy a bucket right now. Boy steps into one in transition, drills it. He's got Lipscomb back out by three. Here's the red hot Jalen Blackman. Turns on Clark, baseline J. Unbelievable. They were rivals in AAU ball, now teammates, all the way in Florida in college. Agnosovic for three. He's got it, and Lipscomb takes the lead. At time. How does it mix it up a bit? And you get that in conference tournaments, right, where the intensity ratchets up. Here goes Agnosovic, missed it short. Now Blackman on the run against Clark, blocked. Good defense by the grown A man tonight, so you can't look for the officials to bail you out. Snare way too much space. They seem to have taken over the pace of the game. Here goes Brown, no foul, rebound by Clark. Schnair, open for three, knocks it down. Does put Stetson in the bonus here. That was the sixth foul on Lipscomb. So they'll have free throws the next time. Here goes Blackman, driving on Clark. Just lost his credit to Bison with a sticky defense. Here goes Clark again. Kicks to an open Boyd in the corner. Lipscomb. Stetson tonight, they were 10 out of 10. Clark, it's been a game changer in this series. He scores again. Heat him up, let him score. Two point game, here goes Clark. He scores another one. As we head to the final 346 of the game. Final 346 of the season. Boyd has a team high 19 and right now, Jalen Blackman's career night could be for naught. It has bothered him. 
Stetson desperate for a stop. Jawara comes in for defense. Agnosovic drives by him. Little floater, it's gone! Tight in Kennesaw, by the way, a 52-52 game. Makes it two for three from the free throw line. And he makes both. Three for four. And when you don't come away with a stop, that is difficult. Defense has been the Achilles heel of this Stetson team all season. Looks like it's going to cost them tonight. Agnosovic lays it in. Basketball game as we take a look at it here. And the hustle plays. And just Clark just, hey, give me that. And a nice dish to Agnosovic running for Clark. Clark wants to go to the basket. Dumps to Agnosovic. Little hook. That's good. For Sam Peak on this homestand. A fabulous time for him to turn it on. Clark slips past. Brown scores. But that... Quincy Clark inbounding for Lipscomb. They've led most of the way, but they've yet to really create any significant distance. Clark, count that and a foul. As Quincy Clark taking it to the basket, a nice spin move and falling down, but having the presence of mind to still put it up. Pruitt's got it, kicks it out to Schneer. Now Clark, that's his second three. Oglesby, little sloppy. Here's Clark in transition. Oh, steps there, steps. The official defense is going to be what wins this basketball game. Minute and a half to go. Our 11th lead change of the game. Here goes Clark to the basket. That has been unstoppable. Nice and execute. Nobody's been able to keep this man out of the lane. Here goes Clark. He made another one. Round against Pruitt. The hand to Clark. You know where he's going. Quincy Clark forced out. Agnosovic for three. That's Ball game. Dagger. Nine seconds. Doesn't look good for the Hatters. Looks very good for the Bison. All go through the basket. And you start feeling good about yourself. And it is going through the basket a lot for him tonight. His energy coming out of the timeout. And that's what Coach Acuff talked about it. And you can see the back. Here's Clark, so quick. Wow. Modern where Hutchins, Everett, and Robinson are swapping out. Oh, Look at what that. a slip, yet again. Let's become very disciplined. They were only able to get Nosovic back. So instead, they'll back into their offense. Oh, what a find. They get in their offense as early as they want. Remember what Lenny Aiko said, either early or late in the clock. No, they're terrific. Clark, oh, Clark. Yeah, like that had a chance. Maybe now you can break it down here, Bob. Now watch Asajal. <laughs> He's going to come high. He's going to be the top of your screen. And oh, there's what a, a fast fine. Right. From the elbow, though it hasn't been Cameron Copeland's night after he had 17 in the win against Central Arkansas. Oh, what a ball fake. But it is all Bisons here in the second half. They continue to up this lead. Clark that time got doubled, and that's what happens. Let's take you back to the... Uh, early games of the conference tonight. Keep him fresh because this, this Reed kid here, I think is a very good player for Buffett. And two, two for three. <laughs> and the old coach in me says, you know, for the season, he's shooting about 20% from here. Five to shoot. And it rolls out. Wow. Corner three, McGinnis. Asman tips the rebound back to Clark. Another three is good. Clark again, this time over Dickens. Help gets it to McGinnis. A risky play by Schneer. Don't drive that baseline unless you see the end of the play. Clark again. You know, notice here Lipscomb has four guards in the game against much bigger Michigan. Look at Quincy Clark again, my good. And it's go time for Lipscomb. Clark reverses it. You lose your best guy, but a week from tonight at LSU. A clean look from three, and it's not an early lead. Malik Osborne to play a lot of time at the five. They've had to play a lot smaller than the Seminoles are accustomed to. The Seminoles, they have just the personnel to go run that one down. Nasovic. 
He has that little sort of set shot from out there. Doesn't really see the jumper from beyond. Maybe their final possession of the first half. Try and augment that lead. Charlie Moore turns it over. Quincy Clark comes down the floor. Poplar had his shot altered there by Asman at the rim. The freshman alters that opportunity. And Quincy Clark... But other than that, you know, everybody's got a chance, I think. Six of nine and nearly 67%. Four of 12 and 33%. Lipscomb leads the ace on the shooting percentage. As Snare hit a... Was in a grocery store watching the Milan High School Championship game where they won as there's a steal by Clark. Is and that, that is the, the signal good. Fired up there by Freem. Well, that one, if that one had dropped, Bellerman... That would have really been taken all the air out of this building. Talk about dropping a three, put it in the hands of A.J. McGinnis. Junior. The other night he was physical. We didn't have a lot of fouls. I just think the officials let him play. <laughs> Murphy went flying out of the way. Then Johnson throws it away. In, in the two games before today, Justin. And Quincy Clark takes a nice pass up and slams it home. So Lipscomb has played Bellerman's game here, but they've still been successful. Inside. At the block, at the rim, trying to use their length and their size. Nice. Oh, nice pass there. In the paint, got to do something with it. It's Clark, Shooting just that. one of ten, but he gets a steal now. That's more his shot. No good, fired up there by Harrison. Or excuse me, that was half, improving theirs. There's a steal, and the layup to Boyd. Couldn't step back and shoot the three, but he goes back to Clark, reverses. The flames now with a turnover in two of their last three possessions. Clark quick off the bounce, yep. gets to the 10 for two. Clark trying to drive past and dance oh. draws the foul and puts from beyond the arc in the second half. Good laying at the other end. Quincy Clark drives toward the bucket, spins, shoots a little fadeaway that's good. Breaks some traffic. Gets the ball back, drives, stops again with a little short, fatal. Back, a nice steal there, A.J. McGinnis. McGinnis on the steal. He wants to give it off to Clark. He's got six early points. Paul's Gavin Raines injured, not able to play. And Quincy Clark. Die thinks about a three, but instead will drive. And Clark will block his shot, and it blocked right into his hands, and then Die will reach in and foul him. We may get a double foul here. Clark driving, nice pass over to J.O. And Anasovic goes up and gets the owls to get the ball inside, but good defense by digging and getting a hand. Clark takes the cut. Good effort, but just tough break. Double digit lead for the owls. Clark, Anasovic. Oh, you gotta love that. Just Nine points. I believe he might be two for four right now from the three-point line. That's good for Casey Jennings. Benham, the straightaway. Ocean offense, a lot of back doors. Quincy Cuts. Clark off the dribble. Clark, the fade, puts it through. Wait, we haven't talked a ton about it, too. you got to give Osayo Sifo a lot of credit defensively on Agnosevic. I mean, he's been their guy. And he really up. He's now got 12 rebounds. Clark down the lane. Shot up and in. Beautiful. Drive and finish. Get it back down to a one possession game. Clark drives, fakes, leans in and hits. And it's a two point ball game. 40 to go. Clark now brings it across, drives down the lane, strong to the basket. Nobody stopped him. Boy, Clark. Gulf Coast, his third double double of the season. And he has been scoring in bunches in the early going, but Quincy checked on him, has asked about him. Many have tried to reach out when they've been in the area. 
There's a lot of love for Coach Anthony Boone around the conference as Quincy Clark, but Benham jumped in front of it. Yeah, Benham, he's running his minutes for sure. Back to Clark, two more points. Quince, third straight 20-point game for Kyalude. His sixth this season. Reeves averages double figures in conference play. Clark working against Hunter. Find space with the left hand and Quincy Clark. Surrey Jr., the freshman from Maumelle, Arkansas, off the bench. Yeah, he's a great player, freshman, making his presence known. He said, I want to get on the scoring, and he did just that. Clark again. Guinness is 16, a career high. Four Bisons in double figures as they continue to try to pile it on out of the timeout. Benham a three. Has it.